All right, bro, I've got a quick question for you. How's it going? Yeah, all good. What was the first video ever filmed? What was the first video ever filmed? Yeah. Um, it was the train coming towards the screen, wasn't it? Nope. No. I asked a ton of people that same question and most people have absolutely no idea. A smaller minority of people, myself included, might think it was some of Thomas Edison's early work around 1893, or the works of the Lumiere brothers in 1895. But I can guarantee that almost no one will tell you that the first videos ever made were made by a Frenchman in a small town called Leeds in the north of England. Well, that's exactly what a friend told me this week. And as someone who's been living in Leeds himself for the last three years, I just couldn't believe this. this. There's no way this was true. I mean, I make my income through using video and I teach others about the power of video. How could I have not heard once that the first video ever made was made in the city that I live in? But after he told me this, I went away and did my own research and it turns out it's completely true. I discovered that the first video camera ever made was made by a gentleman called Louis Le Prince and was patented in October 1888, over 130 years ago. I also learned that the three first videos ever shot were filmed in October 88 with this camera. That's five years before anything publicly shown by Thomas Edison and seven years before that first video from the Lumiere brothers. So it turns out that Louis Le Prince made that first ever video camera in his Leeds workshop. That camera shot video at between five to seven frames per second. It had two lenses built into it. The top one was the viewfinder for the operator to look through. And the bottom one was the lens that took the photographs that would be compiled to make the video. It's in the National Science and Media Museum in a small town called Bradford, just next to Leeds, which I took a visit to, to see this camera in person. And with that new invention, the first single lens video camera, Louis Le Prince shot the three first videos ever made in October 1888. Okay, so the first of those three videos shot in October 1888, they were shot in the grounds of the mansion house Oakwood Grange, which sits somewhere behind me here. But in 1972, it was knocked down and completely demolished and replaced with these modern houses that you can see in the background. So unfortunately, we can't visit the exact location that video was shot anymore. But the second of the three videos that Louis Le Prince filmed and the most famous is this scene on Leeds Bridge. Unfortunately, this bridge that sat in Leeds city centre still exists today. And it's right here that we're gonna focus on in this video today. This is where history was made. The video is called Traffic Crossing Leeds Bridge and it captured just that. Looking down from the window to the bridge, the video filmed people and traffic living their daily lives crossing Leeds Bridge. Now I've crossed this bridge hundreds of times during my time living in Leeds. It's a really well used popular bridge and I couldn't believe that this was where history was made. But it was so powerful for me to learn all this new stuff about Leeds where I live. So to round that off, the third video that was shot back in October 1888 by the Prince was a video of his son playing the accordion in the family garden. So after I learned about this incredible piece of history in the field of video, I started thinking, why didn't I know this already and why doesn't everyone else know that this is where video started, five years before Thomas Edison and seven years before the Lumiere brothers. And when I dug into this further, this is when things actually started to get quite dark and quite sad. So it turns out that that camera was developed in that workshop in Leeds. The first videos were shot in that October 1888 around the city. But once that video was shot onto film, there was no way for those images to be shown to an audience. If you think about how cinema works now, there's a big projector at the back which feeds the film through the projector and it projects a film onto the screen that the audience is watching. But back in 1888, when that camera was created, there was no delivery device, no projector that existed. So over the following two years from 1888, when those videos were filmed, the inventor, Le Prince, actually worked on a delivery device, a projector that would be able to take the videos from the camera and show that footage to an audience. And after two years in 1890, Le Prince announced that he'd done it, he'd made the projector, and he made arrangements to demonstrate this new technology, video and projection technology to an audience in that year of 1890. But unfortunately, and this is what I learned that actually made me quite sad when I was doing my research here, 
That reveal event never happened. On the day that he was going to show this to the public, boarded a train in France, and at some point between his departing destination and where he was meant to arrive, Louis the Prince completely vanished and was never to be seen again. So this made me quite sad to learn. I mean, first off, Louis the Prince never got to reap the rewards of his amazing breakthrough in the field of photography and video. And secondly, I was quite sad to learn about the five year delay on the progression of camera technology and video technology that happened as a result of these breakthroughs lying completely dormant and not being released and announced to the world. So yeah, when I discovered all of this new stuff, you know, the actual real story of the origins of video, part of me actually wished at that stage that I hadn't learned about it. But then my perspective changed and that negative actually turned into a positive. Rather than thinking about this sad outcome when I think about this story, I actually started to think about the positives around the story. I mean, this story is the spark that lit the fuse to the whole of motion picture progress. And that competition that followed Louis Le Prince's camera and first video recordings just pushed the field of video and motion picture to higher and higher heights, to the stage where it created an industry and a medium so well used and commonly harnessed today by myself and most of you watching, I mean, you're watching me through a video, that it's just integrated in everything we do. So now when I hear this story, it's not a sad story that I'm thinking of. It's an opportunity for me to reflect and celebrate Louis Le Prince's life, his technology and inventions, and the impact that those inventions have had on myself and so many others. So I wanna make this video a celebration, a celebration of Louis Le Prince's life and of his inventions. So to all the content creators out there watching, I wanna implore you while you're out there crushing it, making content and creating a profit from online video, take a second to reflect and think about the origins of the industry that you're so deeply rooted in. Just respect the technology that came in the past that led us to where we are now. And I hope that you're happy to know the real story now yourself. And if you are interested in it and you think it's a really worthwhile and enlightening story for other people to know, just go ahead and share this video to get the message of Louis Le Prince, that first video camera and those first three videos from October of 1888 get that out to the world by sharing this video. So thanks for watching everyone. A bit of a different video this week than what I normally make. I will get back to making practical tips on how to you know, be successful with video online in the future. But I wanted to just take a step back today to reflect, celebrate these achievements and kind of put this tribute out there to give back from an industry and from a technology that has given so much to me. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Videos every Monday. I say this every Monday, so you should know this by now. And yeah, just peace out. I'll see you next week.